Zach got a package in the mail, in the mail, in the mail, in the mail. Well, the word got around that said this kid is insane, man. <laughs> my Hamilton wig. <laughs> what hey. up? For my leadership presentation tomorrow, we have to present a a leader. They could be living, they could be dead. So I'm doing Alexander Hamilton. I'm going to talk about how he was a really good leader and also his flaws, like interpersonal skills and character. What up? Yeah, and you're going to do awesome. Yay! Yeah. So that came in the mail, and also we have some Christmas cards. Christmas, it's so fun to get Christmas cards. I'm just about to send mine out. Not really, but I'm getting there. Good friends, the Langstons. The Langstons. Lizzie has a really great YouTube channel. I will link it below. You can check out her YouTube channel, Langstons. And then my other really good friend, Hannah, and her cute family. Yay, Christmas time. Yay, what's up? Um, why does he, why does my dad have that white hair? Because he's Enough trying to be Alexander Hamilton. On the ship that was New York bound. I put my way out of Did you do it? Yeah. No, it's still in your mouth. No, I'm not doing it. Swallow. You just gotta get it down your throat. I'm not doing it. I don't do it. Try. Here's some more water. Can you swallow it? Put it down your throat. She's having a hard time swallowing her roast beef. Have you ever done that? I totally remember. Sometimes I still do have a hard time swallowing meat. Okay, spit it out. No. Okay. <laughs> Let me brush it. So tonight we were going to go out and I wanted to have the kids and me and Zach pick out ornaments because it's one of my new traditions I want to do every year. Is have us each pick an ornament and then like over the years we'll gather all these ornaments um, that we can get out every year and remember like, you know, the kids will probably choose like, mm, what? What? A dessert? Yeah. Well, let's do family night and then we're gonna have dessert, okay? Okay. So we're gonna do family night, family home evening. We try to do this every Monday where we sit down as a family and have a lesson, a Bible lesson or something. Anyway, we were gonna go get ornaments, but it's so cold outside today. It's like, in the 30s and it's like a cold cold day though like windy and it's just ugh, it like gets into your bones that kind of that's how cold it is i just don't want to deal with it so instead we're gonna be boring and stay in and look for ornaments online <laughs> i took my seat you look like you're taking up the whole couch though you couldn't share part of the couch no because i was Right here. Mm, that's not very nice. I think the elf saw you not being nice. No, he didn't. Um, he didn't see me. I think he did. Hey, Piper, let go of my trick Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have family night. Uh, let's start with a song. A Christmas song. A Christmas song? Oh, we have to, we have to sing it all together. With Just again. count us in like one, two, three, go. One, two, three. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kids. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Sleep in heavenly peace. So beautiful. You got a beautiful voice. All right, so I know this isn't as exciting as actually taking the camera to the store and choosing out ornaments, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, Piper, what ornament did you choose? Mermaid. Piper chose a little mermaid ornament, which fits her this year because that's her favorite thing, and she was a mermaid for Halloween. And then, Porter, what did you choose? Spider Man. Porter chose a Spider Man ornament. You okay, Piper? Me and Daddy are choosing one ornament, and we really wanted a YouTube one because this has been like a year of YouTube for us, but they don't have any ornaments. Go figure. They have everything in merchandise except for ornaments. So we wanted to get a YouTube one, but then we also wanted to get a BYU. Like a YouTube play button. Like yeah, a red play button or something. So if any of you out there know where to get one. Yeah. We don't have a P.O. box, so you can't send it to us. <laughs> but then we also thought it'd be good to get a BYU one. So we think we're going to get a BYU ornament and then maybe put like a YouTube thing on it or something. When I was discussing this idea of getting ornaments with Zach for like every year, everyone gets to choose an ornament that like represents 
you know, their year or whatever. He doesn't like these types of traditions. <laughs> you make me sound like such a scourge. Well, uh, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he doesn't like it because he doesn't like traditions that have to do with like gathering stuff and like keeping more stuff. Which I understand. Yeah, I like, I like some traditions. I just, I don't think $10 for a Spider-Man ornament. You know, yeah. stuff like that. I'm like, well, that's not like, I don't know. I know, but. And like Porter, Porter just, we're like, what kind of ornament do you want? Oh, Spider-Man. And then like two seconds later, no, Hulk, uh, no, Iron Man. So it's like, no, but you know what I mean? Cute. It's not like something that really like. I'm like looking forward to the years where we open up like our family ornaments and everyone's like, oh my gosh, we've had this Spider-Man ornament for 10 years because Porter chose it when he was five years old, four years old, and it'll be fun. And it's hard to envision that now, but it will, it will be fun. So anyway, that's a funny like, I, I am like totally on board with not having too much stuff and getting rid of things, like not keeping every single one of Porter's like preschool drawings. But if you don't keep some things, then you don't have anything. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this is our vlog for today. Um, Mondays are very like business around here. I do laundry, I do groceries. Porter has school, I work, Zach goes to school. So not a lot of exciting things. But we do get to have family time at night, and that's always fun. You always like family night, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I didn't eat this. No, do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat it. So that's all we have for today, you guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like and watch our videos all week long. And goodbye. And goodbye. Hi, bro. You have anything to say? Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Spider-Man. Baby, baby says goodbye too. <laughs> so you're saying put it on during these two, right here. If we have time. I think that's plenty of time. That's plenty There's of time. Yeah, plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that good. When I was 17, a hurricane destroyed my town. I didn't drown. I couldn't seem to die. Or stop smiling. I wrote my way <laughs> out. <laughs> wrote everything down far as I could see. I wrote my way out I looked up and the town had its eyes on me They passed a plate around And total strangers Moved <laughs> 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 by <laughs> my story <laughs> Raised enough for me to book passage on a ship that was New York bound I wrote my way out of hell, I wrote my way to revolution I was louder than the crack in the bell I wrote Eliza, loved letters until she fell I wrote about the constitution and defended it well And in the face of ignorance and resistance I wrote financial systems into existence And when my prayers to God were met with indifference I picked up a pen, I wrote my own deliverance in the Oh, and that's it, that's it, I'm not gonna do the next line <laughs> So yeah